but judgment's coming. Amen. I ain't gonna worry about you. Amen. I got some emails here. New York Episcopal priest to marry homosexual partner. Oh, Episcopal Church. Yes. And I'm saying by way of you too, all you people who are blinded and in the Episcopal, Lutheran, Church of Christ, and all those churches that defile the word of God and try to tell you that two men can marry each other or two women can marry each other, you're in a false church. And you need to be waiting there for running. Don't worry about your hat and coat. You need to be waiting there for running. Oh, the good will get your coat. That's why I teach y'all about Obama. Yes, Lord. He done more for the homosexual lesbian movement than any any president in the history of the United States. Shame on him. I'm gonna talk about him every week. Shame on him. Oh, God bless you with a wife and two children. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Would you want one of them to be a lesbian? That's right. Shame on you. Right. If there's no leader, how can the people find a way? Yeah. Somebody got to stand up for something. Yeah. And since he won't, I will. Yeah. And I ain't afraid yeah. of them devils. You can't do nothing to me. Right. Hey, I ain't afraid of no sissy. Right. Yes. 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 No lesbian. Yes. You didn't vote me in. Yes. You right. can't vote me out. Yes. I'm here by the grace of God. Yes. And I'm sure I'm going to preach the truth. Yes. But here, yes. let me get back to my text. Here, in verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion. Uh oh, oh, come with singing unto Zion. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Zion is a spiritual place of divine power. Yes. When the prophets would go to the mount, yes. they were seeking a connection with God. Yes. They wanted to talk to him and they had to separate themselves from the spirit of unbelief so they yes. could get alone and talk to God. Yes. Sometimes, church, you got to get in a secret place yes. and learn how to communicate with Jesus for yourself. Yes. And then when God yes. speaks to you, come to church rejoice. Yes. With a beautiful testimony. I heard the voice from heaven. Yes. He told me everything was all right. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. I'm going through something right now, but everything is all right. Hallelujah. And have a smile on your face. Hallelujah! You've got to understand something. In spiritual warfare, you've got to fight spiritually. Oh, the devil is a spirit. Yes. And you've got to fight him spiritually. Right. You can't reach back getting no baseball bat against the devil. Right. Hallelujah. You've got to pray on it. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Keep singing songs in life. And the more you lift up Jesus, the more the devil is defeated. The more you pray God, the more the devil turns away from you. Hallelujah. And the more you say, I can't do Amen. The prophet here is trying to let the people know, wake up, put on some strength. Yes. And then he says, the redeemed of the Lord, come singing unto Zion. Uh -huh. And everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Everlasting joy yes. does not mean that you're happy in church. Uh -uh. And then when you get home and pick up that disconnect notice, you start getting sad and soft. That's right. That's right. Right. Yes, uh, uh, because the, uh, they said, well, y y no, you turned down this week. Come on. All right. Get happy. Yes. Right. Oh, yes. Amen. Get happy. Yes. Not yes. Yes. Well, because the devil's a liar. Yes. All the time. Yes. And, th and the next week is another week. Right. Right. Turn me down again next week. Yes. If you turn me down next week, I'm going to get happy. Yes. Hallelujah. Now you say, well, preacher, are you talking crazy? No, I'm talking spiritually. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And if you can't see where I'm going, it's because you ain't spiritual. But when you see where I'm going, the devil spiritually, we can overcome every weapon that the devil forms against us. And we will get the victory. We got the victory of Shiloh. Hallelujah. We'll get the victory every weapon, so my foot drop. And every prayer request we never put for the throne of God. God's going to answer that prayer request. All we got to do is believe in that devil. All right, now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. I recall. 
testimony. They had an epidemic going in Indianapolis, Indiana, back in the late, late 20s. And encephalitis was a deadly disease, no cure. So some of the children were coming down with it in the church. Somebody called the health department. And the health department subpoenaed the pastor. Said, well, did one of your members of your church children get encephalitis and you didn't take them to the hospital? He said, well, we don't believe in going to hospitals. We Amen. believe in prayer. And uh, they wanted to get uh, threatening to him and badgering him. He's, he said, well, he said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go before court tonight. Amen. He said, no, court, this is court here, and, and we don't have no night, sir, night, night court. He said, no, but I'm going to a court tonight. Yes. 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 Got the elders of the church. They went in that yes. sister's room. Bishop Tobin gave the testimony. Yes. He was there. Amen. They prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed. I'm talking about hours. Mm -hmm. And finally, one of the ministers with Bishop Tobin said, we can go now. Yes. He's gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Encephalitis racking her body, yeah. and there was no cure in that dispensation time. But that elder got up and said, We can go now. Yeah. And that was God. Yeah. And then the more that little girl got up, hallelujah, ate her breakfast and went on to school. I'm trying to tell you what power of prayer would do when you got a relationship with God. They didn't have a whole lot of money, they didn't have no big fancy churches, but they could get a prayer through to God. Because it was part of the spirit, they knew how to get to Zion. <laughs> How to get to Zion. Yes. And Zion is a spiritual place. Oh, it's not physical now. It's spiritual. Yes. New Jerusalem coming down from heaven is spiritual. Right, right. This is New Jerusalem right now. Let's come down from heaven in the word of God. Yes. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Yes. And whatsoever we desire, when we pray, if we stand believing and not doubting in our heart, Amen. it shall be, it shall be. Shall be. unto us. Yes. Amen. 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 Let me share this. We got uh, our elder here from uh, Malawi. Uh, Zimbabwe, Africa. Amen. I don't know whether you heard the testimony. Some missionaries went over in the 20s to Africa to set up a church. And the head man of the village said, well, now, you said this God, Jesus, he can do anything but fail. And the preacher said, yes, he can do anything but fail. He said, well, come on. And the head man took him to uh, a man in the village, uh, and he was dying, and the fever was racking his body. Yes. And the man said, well, the only thing I want is a cup of ice. Yes. And uh, so the head man said to the preacher, all he wants is a cup of ice. Now, you said your God could do anything but faith. So that put him in a test. He's going there to establish a mission work. Yes. Now he's confronted with a test, uh, a miracle test. Yes, right. Now, Equatorial Africa, the sun 105 in the shade. That's right. They took him to a little hut, and he got down on his knees and prayed. This is a true story. Uh, yes, he prayed and he prayed. Raised his head up, and the sun just burning down. Yeah. Yeah. Holy, got down on his knees and prayed some more. Yeah. He kept praying. Yes. And finally he looked up and he saw a cloud. Yes. And the clouds began to build up. Yes. It began to rain. Yes. And it rained. And it rained so hard, the rain turned to hail. Oh, he got yeah. a bucket. He caught a bucket of ice under the bucket oh, and carried it back to the head man. He said, here's your ice. I told you God to do this thing with hail. I'm not going to let you know, church. When you believe and trust in God, no something may seem impossible. There's nothing impossible with Jesus. But you've got to have a spiritual connection. How many God can't fail? How many know that God can't fail? We can do all things. That's strength is up. That's why I sing my song. I will never draw back. I will move. Although I have changed my mind.